Max Sejo Animations, Capacitor. What is a capacitor? A capacitor is an electronic device that stores electrical energy in an electric field by accumulating electric charges on two closely spaced surfaces that are insulated from each other. Basic construction of a capacitor consists of two parallel conductive plates and a dielectric material, which is also considered as an insulator. In a simple circuit consisting of a battery, a switch, and a bulb, we can see that switching on the switch, the bulb lights. And also switching the switch of the bulb turns off immediately. This is because in this circuit, the battery provide the voltage to the circuit, which pushes current flow through the wires as shown, from positive to negative. When the switch is open, the circuit becomes open circuit, and when you close the switch, it completes the circuit, making it a closed circuit, completing the circuit, hence current flows. As indicated, you should note that current flow from positive to negative, while electrons move from negative to positive. When we use the same circuit and add a capacitor to the circuit, and it gets charged when the circuit is closed, removing the battery from the circuit, the bulb still lights for sometimes, usually a few seconds to few minutes, depending on the size and capacitance of the capacitor. This is because the capacitor has the ability to store charges, Now, let's explore how capacitor stores charges. First, as said before, a capacitor is made of two conductive plates and a dielectric material which is placed in between the plates and is non-conductive. It is said that the two plates are conductors carrying equal but opposite charges. These conductive plates can be made by various materials such as metallic plates or surfaces, foils, thin films, sintered beads of metals or electrolytes. The dielectric material can be made of materials such as glass, ceramic, plastic, paper, and even air among others. For us to understand charges as you sit in this experiment, let's recall atoms and elements. An atom is the smallest particle of a chemical element that can exist. Element is composed of many atoms that have the same atomic number. That is, each atom has the same number of protons in its nucleus as all other atoms of the same element. For example, lithium atom is an atom of the lithium element. In this experiment, we will use lithium. Lithium is alkali metal with the atomic number 3 and atomic mass of 6.941 grams per mole. Lithium atomic structure has three protons, three electrons, and four neutrons. Protons and neutrons are contained in the inner most shell known as nuclei while outer most shell contains electrons. Arrangements of lithium, electrons are two, then one electron exists in the outer most shell. Hence lithium atom has one electron in the outer shell which is free to move. This electron is considered to be delocalized or free electron. and is responsible for electrical conductivity of the material. As I have said before that lithium has three electrons and three protons, and electrons are negatively charged and protons are positively charged.
Let's use lithium as our two plates, and we can see, before we apply current to the circuit, the plates are electrically neutral, since it has same number of protons to electrons. Remember, electrons can move freely, while protons are in the nuclei of the atom. When current flow electrons flow, and this changes the charges of the plates, the flow of current causes the plates to acquire opposite charges. As you can see, one is negative, while the other is positive. When current flow, remember electrons flow. This current forces the electrons to move, for example, to shift position. The electrons in first plate increases, since there is a dielectric between these plates. It cannot jump to the other plate, hence it accumulate on one plate. Remember, the plates still have the positive protons, but since the electrons here are many, it is considered to be negatively charged plate. The other plate also has flow of electrons, but the plate releases the electrons, hence the plate becomes positive due to left positive protons atoms. This is also facilitated by the electric field which is created by voltage across the circuit. The charges of the capacitor plates will remain negatively charged and positively charged due to this field. The field across the dielectric materials creates the charges of the dielectric material to align. This helps in keeping one plate positive and the other plate negative. The electrons in one plate reduced while the other plate increases. Once the negatively charged plate cannot accept more electrons and positively charged plate does not release more electrons, the capacitor is said to be fully charged. Since the capacitor is fully charged, it becomes an open circuit since no more electrons can flow. When you connect a battery with a capacitor in series, the current will flow across the circuit since capacitor releases the electrons to the circuit. But once the capacitor is fully charged, the in-battery is still connected, the circuit will go off. Removing the battery from the circuit, the current will flow again for a few seconds. This is because the charges which were initially stored in the capacitor is released again. This is because at first, when the voltage was applied through the battery, the electric field was created across the plates. But once the battery is removed, the electric field dies. Hence, the plates tries to gain neutrality in surface charge. Now, the negative plate releases the electrons while the positive plate gains these electrons, which is being lost by the negatively charged plate. This facility current flow but this happens only for a short time. Hence, capacitor has the ability to store some charges for some time. Other thing you need to know is that in dielectric material exist either polar dielectric or nonpolar dielectric. Polar dielectric is when polar orientation of molecules is random in the absence of an external field formed between the plate. But when charged, they align, since a torque is set up, which causes molecules to align with the electric field. The best example of this type of dielectric is water. The other type of dielectric are non-polar dielectrics. They don't possess permanent electric dipole moment. Their electric dipole can be induced by placing the materials in the external electric field. The best example is air, paper and others. Also, when you have a circuit and want to calculate the capacitance of the capacitors, you can the formula. 
in series 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus plus up to 1 over Cn, where n is the total number capacitors in series. While in parallel, C1 plus C2 plus plus up to Cn. Also, capacitance of the capacitor is usually written on its side, and you can calculate its charge using the formula Q charge is equal to C times magnitude of change of voltage. I hope you found this video informative, and you do subscribe, like, and share. Also, if you want any 3D services, email me link in the description. Also, watch our previous videos on Circuit Breaker, Contactor, and Overload Relay. See you in the next one.